tell what happened here. Here's Robinson, the bunt for the base hit. Now watch what Luis Cruz does here. Watch him come in. Look at this. Hit the next guy. That's where it all started right there. And then he missed him with the first two pitches. He got him with the third one. Tell what. This is not a baseball fight. This is a fist fight. Finally, it appears things are beginning to settle down. A couple of bats that were near the on deck circle were thrown toward the dugout. Sergio Romo. It looks like peace has been restored. And Charlie, I tell you what, I, I don't agree with what Mexico did there. Leon was frustrated that with a 9 to 3 lead, they bunted for a base hit. You know what? This game's not over with. That's why the mercy rule is there. If it's over with, you get to the mercy rule and, and it's done. The fact that he bunted for a base hit, I see nothing at all wrong with that. And in this tournament where run differential could be a big key, you just keep piling it on. You talk to the managers, and they say they don't like that, but it's also the reality of how the tournament is with four teams in three games. Again, this wasn't one of those baseball fights. I got him, you got him, hold me back. This was some serious stuff. The Mexican fans giving it to Team Canada in the dugout. Dennis Boucher, the pitching coach, apparently was hit by a flying object from the stands. Attention fans, the World Baseball Classic asks for your cooperation in maintaining a safe and enjoyable environment here. I know one thing, when you grow up playing hockey, it's an object on you're not afraid, play you're not afraid to fight. To they had a couple of fights, we were told, in their own hockey game between their own team. I don't agree with what Leon did there. I don't agree with that at all. That's what caused every bit of this. Now Rick Renneria has got to find somebody else to come in and pitch. Public address announcer just said anybody seen throwing anything toward the field will not only be ejected from the park, they'll be arrested. Well, it's going to be a long time before we get this thing started again.
know one thing too. If this were a regular season game, Canada would retaliate. Mm -hmm. But I hope for the sake of the World Baseball Classic, they don't. Well, at this point, the scoreboard says it all. Ernie Witt, the manager of Team Canada, Brian Corbin, the crew chief. Hit Dennis Boucher. Ooh. And so now security trying to settle down the fans, Team Canada. Obviously irate as their pitching coach was hit by a bottle of water. Pete Bohr, Tim Leiper is the third base coach. Now warming up on, on the mound is Jose Cobos. There's got to be some ejections. Well, clearly, Leon is one of them. Well, the Sevis is gone. You, you, I mean, you know the history with that guy. He's going to be right in the middle of it. I'll tell you what, we're some good punches flowing. Cool. Right? That's, that's not the normal dance that baseball players have. Sadly, for those who don't think players care about the World Baseball Classic, on the other end of the spectrum, we, showed how, we saw how much they care. You know, I don't know of any other reason for Leon to have done what he did. He was mad that, 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 that Robinson bunted for a base hit. you, you got to understand the rules in this tournament. And talking to all four of the managers, they understand it's part of the deal because of run differential and if everybody ends up with a the same record, you got to pile on the runs. Torrey was saying the same thing. Ernie Witt was, Renteria, Marco Mazzieri, the battalion manager said, that's the only thing we don't like about it. Well, because it changes the game yeah. and the way that it's normally played. You're up by 6-1, runs with one inning to go. You don't bunt for a base hit. You don't steal a bag. You don't hold runners on. There's a lot of things that change. But because of the rules in this tournament. You score as many as you can, and it may well, well be a tiebreaker. You have to. Mm -hmm. If you don't, you might be going home because of it. Brian Knight and Brian Gorman. Two of the umpires. Well, it looks like Team Canada with a six run lead and the fist fight now in the rear view mirror can lighten up a little bit. Larry Walker and Adrian Gonzalez in conversation. Well, there's two solid pros. Oh, solid citizens. Walter Ibarra is now in center field. Eduardo Arredondo, who got pummeled in the fight. Now, whether or not he was thrown out or... He did a little pummeling, too. Yeah. Yeah, it was a, a little, little give and take. Looked like he uh, took more than he Pro gave. Probably took more than he <laughs> gave. Arredondo is 14. Those hockey players know how to pull the jersey and take the other guy.